Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be talking about some new exciting pieces of information that we're going to be theorising about as in regards to the end of Season 4 and Season 5 as well. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so... Today we're going to be talking about Lex Luthor mainly and what's going to be happening. Also we got a quick update as in regards to when they're going to be shooting season 5. So after they've officially wrapped I think they're shooting the finale very soon. Or it could be right now I'm not sure but the Flash is shooting their finale right now. So I think Supergirl might be like a week behind or so. So they're going to have their break very soon and obviously we have to finish all the episodes and we're... You know, quite close to the end, we've still got a couple of episodes, like six or so. I don't know the exact number off the top of my head. But anyway, so David Harewood sent out this tweet that has sort of spiraled speculation over the last few hours. So he says, Welcome to the party, Mr. John Cryer, which is John Cryer's tag, and Azzy Tesfe. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And then he says, Great to have you both on board. Hashtag Supergirl. So this is weird because... John Cryer has had his episodes so far, his two massive episodes, the Lex Luthor episodes, which were amazing. That is including, obviously, the best episode of the season, the Red Daughter origin story. Amazing. He is so good as Lex. He is definitely, probably my favourite Lex of all time, honestly. I think he really knocked out of the park. I had no expectations. Really loved him, so I would like to see him some more. But... So, why would David actually be saying this right now? We know Azzy, or however you say her name, who is playing James's sister, she's been cast as a series regular next year, and so she's going to be around. Again, we're not sure in what capacity. Is she taking over from James's role, or is she giving James a side story to do? Because, off the top of my head, I don't know what role she would have. Like, she's doesn't have much to do I don't think apart from being with James so I think maybe that's a way for James to have some story which will be interesting I don't know how I exactly feel about it because we haven't seen her much she popped up like barely last episode and then the first episode she came she was in a few scenes and that's about it so she was just really there to pop up every now and again to talk to James and that's about it so why would he tweet about John Cryer being welcomed in the same time as Azzy obviously they are new but why wouldn't he do that when those episodes came out so it seems very peculiar so this is where people have been theorizing and me myself I've been theorizing so will Lex Luthor stay to the end of season 5 well we know he's coming back in the finale John's confirmed that already but is he going to continue on into season 5 that's very exciting I think there is a high possibility with him saying this that he is referring he might become a regular or he might recur next season and continue on from that finale episode so that's very interesting but some theories as to how and why he would stay around the main one we've been talking about and i did a live stream earlier today and we came to the decision he could become the president and i know that might seem wild to you guys who haven't read the comics but in the comics he becomes the president a lot of times and it's a real storyline and obviously this current prick of a president that is on Supergirl right now is getting kicked out of the office by the end of the Children of Liberty storyline because he will have nothing else to do because that is all he's there for and obviously it seems like President Marsden won't be coming back which is sad but who would take over from the prick of the president right now and I think if John's sticking around that's a very good candidate. Lex has done that many times in the comics, so Lex will definitely appear in the finale. And just looking at David's tweets, it seems like he's definitely teasing that he may stay on, but I guess not as the main villain. I think he won't stay on as the main villain. Some people were speculating, oh, he might be the main villain for season 5, but I highly doubt he'll be the main villain. They will want to go with something different because remember he is sort of the main villain of this season along with obviously Red Daughter and the Children of Liberty have taken a back seat so is Manchester Black he's now dead so he is technically the villain of this season so I don't see 
why they would continue, you know, him being the mastermind into next season because I think that would get repetitive, although I really do like him. But they've explained that he's been orchestrating things going on and I think you would have to have a new story with him and I think that's where the president stuff comes in. I don't see him being the main villain of next season. They always try to go for a new version, a new specific character for the show. So say Rain or Red Daughter, very different. And I think they really have to go back to basics next season because a lot of people this season are very split. I think there are some outstanding episodes, especially like I've mentioned prior, the Red Daughter Origin episode. That is outstanding. That was an amazing episode. But then we've had some on and off episodes a lot this season compared to past seasons. I thought season three was the best season we've had and I love season one and two. And season 4 has been a bit on and off, but you've had some really good episodes, but you've had some really just poor episodes, just kind of like meh. Mainly meh, not just terrible, not really terrible, but like meh. And a lot of the storylines are dragging on a bit too long, and I think they need to get rid of some of them. But I think that's one reason why I really like the Red Daughter episode so much. Because it was something new, and something new to do. So I don't see Lex continuing as a main villain, but if he stays on, I think he could sort of fit into the role of maybe the president figure. And one theory is, because everyone knows who Lex Luthor is, and knows that he's a criminal, why would they let a criminal obviously be the president? I don't think that would work, but it would be maybe him using an image inducer so that he can become the president and become this figure that people look up to that he wants to be he actually wants to save america and become a hero just like superman as he said in the previous episode so i'm sure he would use an image inducer i really do feel like this could happen and i'm not like giving you guys a wild theory because he's done and become the president many times in the comics and in the animated shows and some of the animated films he's been the president so it's not too absurd to think that maybe he uses an image inducer to go undercover as the president or he literally just becomes the president because you know no one cares who's in charge really up there as long as you know you're following a certain set of rules and you're not a total criminal which is a bit ironic in America's today society when you got Trump actually as a president, which is very funny. And so, is John going to become a series regular for season 5 as as he has become? I think it's a high possibility with David tweeting this. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you think that he's actually going to continue and in what capacity do you think he will continue if he does? Alright, so let's move on to my last thing. So, this is in regards to Kyla Lee. So, she did a video announcing that she couldn't make a convention very soon. And just quickly before we move on, I'm actually going to a convention that Kyla's going to be going to next month in May in England. It's in Birmingham. It's the Ultimates. I went last year. It was really good. I got to see Kyla in real life and I got to see Floriana Lima. I met Jeremy Jordan. This year I'm hoping to talk to Kyla and Floriana, but also Odette Annabelle was there who played Rain. Also Nicole Maines who plays Dreamer and Nia Nal is going to be there. I'm very, very excited for this year. So if you live in England or you can get to England, you live in Europe or something like that, please be sure to come to the event and please be sure to say hi to me if you don't know what my face looks like. You know, I've done many videos, like there's some reaction videos recently where it's my face, so you'll know. And it was just really awesome last year to see these people, but also to meet some of you guys. And especially a lot of you came to Heroes and Villains and it was really awesome to meet and talk to some of you people as well. Because it's just great fun talking to people who like the same stuff as you. So yeah, be sure to say hi if you spot me out, but also just come for the event come to meet Kyla and everyone else but anyway getting back on track so she announced that she's not going to be able to go to this event and this video includes a little reasoning as to why she's not able to come and I don't know the specific date of when this is actually happening the specific event but it's going to be happening sometime when they start shooting Supergirl season 5 and so this is officially going to be 
starting a bit earlier than normal it seems like and because the schedules have changed for shooting so they can shoot and obviously she needs a vacation so she can have some family time you know go back to her normal life see her kids see everyone else in her normal life away from Vancouver obviously so it's all kind of messed up their sort of normal schedules with how they normally shoot Supergirl because Supergirl normally doesn't start until a few weeks before Comic Con so it seems like it's going to be at least a week or so before the original last few seasons when they started shooting because if you remember everyone was kind of scared like are they going to release the trailer or what at Comic Con and so it seems like this year there's definitely going to be a solid concrete trailer if they start shooting this a bit early as Kyla suggests in her schedule update video so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment also subscribe turn on notifications follow me on Twitter at the DC TV show and Instagram at the DC TV show because I'm really active over there but also please be sure to go to the ultimates it's in Birmingham it's in May I think it's May 17th to 19th also heroes and villains I'll be there as well that's in London and that is just a few maybe a week after actually which is very exciting so I've got a lot in May to do so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later goodbye